Hi everyone, I'm Rock from rockpoto.com and today we are going to see how to create Selenium tests and Docker container for testing WordPress website. We are going to see also how to run Chrome browser in Docker container. So let's jump straight in. So what we are going to cover today We'll focus on these main points. So we are going to raise up sample WordPress website. Then we are going to run Selenium tests against it. Tests will run in Docker container and they will drive Chrome browser which runs in a separate Docker container. Then we are going to see Chrome browser interaction in Docker container with the, our demo WordPress website and we are going to see the, it where we and see. So let's jump straight in. So we covered how to raise WordPress in Docker in previous posts. We are not going to cover it today. We'll jump straight to running the tests. So this is a GitHub repository which I cloned locally on my computer. You can find the link on the blog post. And we are going to raise tests container. Okay, so what services are in Docker Compose.yaml? So first we start web server actually first we start db servers it's a mysql database it's already configured once it's healthy web server service will start web server is apache web server with wordpress installed once it's healthy, we are going to start. Oh, sorry, we are going to start browser service. The browser service is uh, based on Selenium standalone Chrome image, and once it's healthy test service will start and will run selenium tests which is written in python let's have a look at selenium test as you can see the test is very simple we connect to browser url so we connect to it by service name so Browser is just web application which is accessible via its API. Once we initialize a driver, we connect to WordPress website identified by this host name and we get a screenshot of the website and store it in slash tmpa.png path inside the container. That's all. That's uh, the demo website and the demo Selenium test. We see that our stack is up. Let's see the status of each service. Yeah, so we see all the services are up and running and healthy. And tests just finished successfully. Let's have a look at the logs as the instructions tell us we see that the test passed how ca how can we be sure that the test passed so we are going to copy the screenshot of the website from the container to docker host the next step is uh, opening the screenshot 
let's do it in Firefox yeah you see our website screenshot let's um, have a look at the website which is running now and make sure that it's indeed the screenshot of the website so we are going to connect to this host name which I mapped in advance to the container okay we can ignore this error and we can ignore this error either if you encounter it don't worry it means that uh, we need to connect to this host name via by a different browser because of the caching in this browser and uh, that's all we see that this is a WordPress website what is the next step yeah we see that uh, test service and its docker file is pretty straightforward in the requirements txt we just install selenium dependency okay so uh, regarding chrome browser in docker so this is the image which i used and you can see it in docker hub it's official selenium standalone chrome image you can find there firefox opera and internet explorer image if you like and the last step i wanted to show you is uh, accessing uh, the machine where actually the container where the browser runs via vnc so once we click this link we can connect to the container of the browser the password is secret and we see selenium grid uh, so we want to see the chrome browser actually being opened while our test is running and accessing our wordpress website which runs in docker container too so let's rerun the test and let's observe the selenium grid okay we see that chrome browser was opened by our test and the screen screenshot was taken and that's basically everything i wanted to show you uh, if you want to know more details about uh, this demo please go back to rockporter.com and read this blog post and you can s find uh, many useful links on courses on Pluralsight and books on Amazon. See you in the next video. Bye bye.